Welcome back, everybody. I am Jehovah. This is War of Rights. Doing another training video on the rifles, target practice. Today, we're dealing with the Springfield 1842. Now, <clears throat> this is a very interesting gun. First of all, it's the shotgun. The uh, reason I say that is you actually have two different forms of ammunition with this uh, rifle. So one is going to be a smooth bore. Uh, round ball. Highly inaccurate. I mean, if you can hit within 100 yards, you're doing pretty good. Uh, so, what we're looking at today is the two different types of ammunition, plus the sway with the bayonet as well. One of the interesting facts about this gun that I find very interesting is the ammunition count. Normally, you're going to get 40 rounds. So, if you look at this gun right here, there's your sway. I have the round ball in right now. Let's see how accurate we are at this close range. <clears throat> you can see that was fairly accurate. Not too bad. Uh, let me break this reload, actually. So to break a reload, you just hit R while you're reloading. It will uh, break the reload. I'm going to hit the number 2, and you'll see it switches to buck and ball. So now I'm going to go ahead and reload that. <clears throat> and so the buck and ball is multiple rounds stacked on top of each other large rounds, small rounds. Again, I'm not a uh, ballistics expert, so I can't speak to that, but how it acts in the game is like a shotgun. Close range, spread target. So let's see what we do here. Do the same thing there, sway. Bring it up to the target. And as you can see, I've hit three rounds instead of just the one. It's a pretty sweet concept. I mean, this gun, anytime I have it in battle, and to be honest, you're not going to be able to do much line battling. Uh, but close range stuff, it's, it's pretty deadly. Especially on those, you know, charges, things like that. You got buck and ball in. You can walk right up. So let's go to the second target here. You can see I didn't hit anything there. <clears throat> so what I'll go ahead and do is I'll put the bayonet on after this reload. And we'll look at the sway on the first set of targets. So, B for bayonet. And here we go. There's your sway. See that guy? I'm not moving the mouse at all. It's kind of steadied out. Get up here. And there you go. So, at 23 yards, pretty accurate. Now we'll go to the second set of targets, see if we can't hit that target. Alright, second set. Here's my bayonet. That's the natural sway. Pull it down to the target. There you go. Now, I didn't take a close enough look at those ranges. I think I hit two of the targets. Maybe it went through one target or hit the close target as well. Let's try that again. See if I can pay attention to the ranges here. I think that's new. I haven't really noticed the ranges before. That's pretty sweet. So... There you go. You can see I only hit one at 39 yards. Alright, so let's go to the third set here. getting out to some range, we'll, we'll test the uh, accuracy of both, both round types. You can see I'm aiming quite high. Still missed. Now, again, I forgot if I mentioned this or not, but with a normal battle, each gun you're going to have 40 rounds because you have two types of ammunition. You now effectively have 80 rounds of ammunition, which is pretty sweet. It's close range, obviously. Not very accurate but you can throw a lot of lead. Let's see if I can hit this target here. Yeah, the spread is just incredible at this distance. That's 70 yards there. So let's uh, let's change the ammunition types. Go back to the round ball. <clears throat> let's 
we'll see if we can hit that target. My understanding of this gun is about accurate to 100 yards. So we should be able to hit this target. With that bucking ball being the spread, it's just not effective at that range. There you go. So that target's 70 yards. So we'll switch over to the long targets. So let's see what we get here. Round ball. Look at the sway on that guy. And completely missed. Most likely that's either drop or that round is just so inaccurate at this range. Doesn't manage to hit anything. Let's try her again. I'll aim high this time. <laughs> Missed it again. <clears throat> Alright. So you can see the sway is quite pronounced. We'll go ahead and take the bayonet off and see if it gets any better. I'll do one more, one more with the bayonet so you can see the natural sway. Alright, so this is no mouse movement. See, that thing is just all over the place. So let's take that bayonet off. Natural sway. Tiny bit better, possibly. Still didn't manage to hit it. <coughs> Excuse me. That says a lot about this gun. This has been my experience in battle with this. It's just, they gotta be close. And a lot of times you'll be in a line battle with a lot of other people, they have better rifles and they're standing far off, everybody's getting shots in, and you're just standing there just wasting time, because you can't really do anything with it. Okay, missed again. I like to hit it at least once with this thing. So this guy's accurate to 100 yards. That means that target's probably more than that. Let's aim above it and see what we get. Still no hit. You know, again, not only is it far away, but this is a round ball. So depending on how it comes out of that barrel, that's the direction it's going to go. Still nothing. <clears throat> you know, it is possible I'm shooting over the target. I am trying to aim high, thinking that I'm going to have quite a bullet drop. Maybe it's not dropping that much. Let's see. Still nothing. Still nothing. <laughs> well, I've often wondered when in battle, using this gun at this kind of range, if I was actually hitting anything, and so the answer very clearly is no. Maybe a lot of dirt. I'm just going to aim near the top of that tree. And I'll take a shot at that third target. See if I can't see what the drop is here. Let the gun stabilize. Aiming right for the bullseye. <coughs> 
didn't seem to drop at that range at all. Still nothing. Alright, well, I'm not going to spend all day doing this. Hope you liked the video. Hope you got a good uh, peek at the uh, 1842. You can see its weaknesses and its advantages. Obviously, close range, great weapon, buck and ball, it's pretty unstoppable. Uh, good with a bayonet charge, but anything beyond 70 yards, and I'm not hitting it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe and hit that little bell icon. We do videos constantly. Until next time, I am Jehovah. See you later.